Hi everyone, it's Shamila here from Can Do Teach, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Null Factor Law. So the Null Factor Law sounds kind of fancy and complicated, but it's really not that bad. So the Null in Null Factor Law just means zero. Null like nothing, so zero. And factor is just factors. So um, if you think of factors of 10, it's like 2 and 5 or 1 and 10. So factors are just things that multiply to give something else. So what the null factor says is that if two numbers multiply to give 0, then one of them must be 0. So that kind of makes intuitive sense. If you think about two numbers that multiply to give zero, well, I could have five and zero, or zero and seven, or zero and one, but one of them always has to be zero. I can't multiply two non-zero numbers and expect to get zero. So that's really all null factor law says. It's that if a times b is equal to zero, then either a or b, or both, must be equal to zero. And that's it. So why that's important in quadratics is that it gives us a useful way of solving quadratics. So let's say I have something like this. This number plus this number, sorry, times this number equals 0. So x minus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. So even though I don't know what x is, I know that if these two bits multiply to give 0, either this part equals 0 or this part equals 0. So if x minus 3 equals 0, well, that means that x must equal 3, right? And if x minus 5 equals 0, that means that x must equal 5. So we can solve this equation saying, therefore, x equals 3 or 5. So that's just a really quick run through of the null factor law, which we'll be using a lot in the next few videos. Um, so if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Otherwise, you can always get extra help at candoteach.com. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!